write it down. Put it into pen and paper. Hello, folks. I'm Kath Armstrong from the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. What do you do when the internet goes out? I mean, apart from be bored, how do you find the information that you want? How do you find that favourite recipe or that knitting pattern? How do you look up the address of that store you want to go to? It's really important that we keep hard copies of this information. We rely so much on the internet, but in a grid down situation of any kind, the internet goes out. And what do we do then? We're lost. We've lost our resource, our information resource. Now that, um, you know, it doesn't take much to lose internet, you know, for quite a long time. Oh, years, in fact, every time it rained, we lost the internet, didn't have it. And we live in a major city in Australia. So thankfully, that's finally been fixed. But in a complete grid down situation, internet will be down for, for all of us. Now, horrible as that thought is, what is even more horrific is realising just how often we use the internet for information, to look up a recipe or pay a bill, to find a movie, a book, um, to book a holiday or even a doctor's appointment, to do the grocery shopping or to buy a Christmas present. We look up how to grow asparagus or when to prune the fruit trees. YouTube is often our research library too, with our favourite channels saved to our watch list so we can find them and refer back to them often. We use email and messenger as our main meals, main meals, sorry guys, as our main means of communication. You go to your phone or your computer for that information. You even use your phone for your shopping list. So when the internet isn't there, how do you do this? Well, it's really simple. You go old school. That simply means that you use actual recipe books or gardening books or first aid books or you go to your address book, the real address book, to find the address of that friend so you can send them a birthday card or a thinking of you letter. Now, if you're like most people in 2021, you don't have a lot of your important information in hard copy. It's not actually written down somewhere where you can physically pick it up and see it, where you can physically refer to it. So take a few minutes, once a week, once a fortnight, when you can, and think about the information that you refer to often and then get a hard copy of it. You know, that favourite recipe, it could be cream cheese patties or lunchbox cookies. Now, those recipes are readily available on the Cheapskates Club website. But if you've got no internet, you can't find them. So write them into your recipe book. Or if you don't want to write them, print them and pop them into a binder. As you watch your favourite YouTube um, channels, take notes. Get a notebook. Write the name of the channel at the top of the page and then write notes about what you are watching. Keep them all together so that you can refer to them without relying on the internet. You don't have to lose that information. Keep an old-fashioned address book. You know, the one with the little alphabetical tabs, A, B, C, D. If you're worried about having to update it, write in pencil so you can just use an eraser to wipe out the old um, information and write in the new. Keep a hard copy of important information like bank details or bill accounts, insurance information, that sort of thing. 
Your medical history is another thing. Keep it all together in a binder so that it's easy to find or a folder or an envelope in a drawer somewhere where it's easy to find. And then I suggest you build up a library of books and not just any books. These are resource books, health books that might cover hydrotherapy or natural remedies. One I can actually recommend is Back to Eden by Jethro Kloss. Now I think it's out of print. It's a very, very old book. I've had my copy for over 40 years. I was actually a teenager when I bought it. But a few years ago, I was able to get it um, as an ebook on my Kindle. It's so it's still available on Amazon. If you can get a hard copy, do. It is full of recipes and ways to use the herbs, the grasses, the flowers, the bark of the trees around us to keep us healthy, to fight infections, to keep us safe. Gather gardening books and books on agriculture, how to keep chickens, um, you know, how to grow food crops. Get books that will help you identify plants and trees and berries and flowers. Build a resource library of skill set books, gardening, cooking, Sewing, knitting, first aid, mechanical maintenance, canning and preserving, natural remedies, building, survival skills. Add all these books to your library. Now you don't need to do it all at once and they don't need to be new copies either. Look for them in op shops and secondhand bookstores, garage sales, um, trash and treasure markets. Anywhere you can find books, look for these resource and reference books. They are there. They are there for pennies on what the new books cost. So many people buy them, all gung-ho, ready to you know, live in a tree and eat ants or whatever. And then apathy or laziness takes over and they just can't be bothered. So they ditch those oh so very, very valuable resources. They just toss them. We need books. We need hard copies because the internet won't be available. We live in a virtual world. Don't believe me? We all use the internet every day. You're using it right now to watch this video. If you think that you aren't reliant on it, try going one weekend just 48 hours without it. No YouTube, no Netflix, no emails, no Messenger, no Facebook, no Google. You stay completely offline for 48 hours. And then every time you go to use it, just jot it down, put a tick mark on a piece of paper or make a little note. And after 48 hours, I bet you are surprised at just how reliant you are on the internet. So don't think the internet can't just disappear. It can, it will, it has. Be smart and be prepared. Build your library of resources so you are prepared when it does happen. You won't be scrabbling to find information. It will be at your fingertips. It's just common sense. If you like our channel, please give us a thumbs up and click that subscribe button to be notified every time we upload a new video. And if you know someone who might um, benefit from this video or who might like to know about the Cheapskates Club, please use the share button to send them a link. Have a great week, everyone, and happy cheapskating.